Business News Today, July 11, 2019 Welcome to the Business News Today with the latest world business news headlines and stories. To keep updated with the latest news and insights, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Now for the news. Asian and European stock markets rise after Federal Reserve comments. European equities climbed alongside U.S. futures and Asian stocks, as investors cheered fresh signs from central bankers that rates are headed lower. Treasuries rose and the dollar fell. The stock's Europe 600 index advanced, with energy companies leading the way as crude oil prices surged. U.S. futures climbed, after the S&P 500 briefly topped 3,000 for the first time Wednesday, as Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell signaled a willingness to lower rates, citing a slowing global economy and trade issues. Shares rose across most of Asia, with the South Korean and Hong Kong markets outperforming, though stocks in China paired gains as the session progressed. The yield on 10-year treasuries slipped to 2.05%. Gold rose for a third day, after the Federal Reserve indicated that it's preparing to cut interest rates for the first time in a decade as the global economy slows. Bullions trading above $1.400 an ounce again as investors took note of the Fed's dovishness damping doubts over monetary policy easing that arose, following stronger-than-expected U.S. payrolls data. Speaking to Congress on Wednesday, Chairperson Jerome Powell said, June's jobs report was great news, but not enough to tilt the balance because wages weren't rising fast enough to trigger much inflation. Gold is trading near a six-year high on the prospects of lower rates which boosts the appeal of non-interest-bearing assets, with geopolitical and trade tensions also spurring demand. Despite a truce between the U.S. and China, Powell stressed downside risks, stemming from uncertainties over trade, and slowing momentum in some economies. Minutes from the Fed's June meeting confirmed an inclination among officials to ease policy soon. Although there will be a few bumps on the way given the level of skepticism in the first gold rally cycle, we think there will be an even greater rush for gold in the coming weeks and months. Stephen Innes, managing partner at Vanguard Markets, said in a note, U.S. to probe French plan to tax tech companies. United States President Donald Trump on Wednesday ordered an investigation into France's plan tax on technology companies. A probe that could lead to the U.S. imposing new tariffs or other trade restrictions. The United States is very concerned that the digital services tax which is expected to pass the French Senate tomorrow unfairly targets American companies. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer said in a statement announcing the investigation. Pound to plummet in no-deal Brexit. A no-deal Brexit would cause the pound to plummet and be worth the same as the dollar, Virgin boss Sir Richard Branson has said. This would be devastating for Virgin, and force the group to shift investment out of the UK, he said. Sir Richard also criticised the rail franchising system, saying it stifled entrepreneurs. The Department for Transport said rail firms clearly see an ability to be entrepreneurial. Boris Johnson the frontrunner in the Tory leadership race, has refused to rule out suspending Parliament to force through a no-deal Brexit. But Sir Richard told the BBC that the UK crashing out of the EU without a deal would cause the pound to slump. Bitcoin falls sharply after Powell comments. Bitcoin is sliding, after Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell poured cold water on Facebook's plans to launch a cryptocurrency. The world's best-known digital coin, which has experienced a meteoric rise in 2019, fell 12% to about $11,300 on Thursday, according to Coindesk data. Bitcoin had hit a 17-month high above $13,000 just two weeks ago. It's currently up about 200% since the start of the year, 
having gathered momentum as large companies like Facebook and Fidelity get involved in the space. But it began sliding, as Powell said that he held serious concerns about Facebook's planned digital currency Libra. Microsoft opens first retail store in Europe. Microsoft will open its first retail store in Europe on Thursday, as the software giant looks to boost its physical presence and compete with other tech companies offering unique in-store experiences for customers. The 21,932-square-foot Microsoft store will be located on Oxford Circus, in the centre of London's famous shopping district, just down the street from Apple's flagship Regent Street location. London will be Microsoft's third flagship destination, along with Sydney and New York City. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos divorce final with $38 billion settlement. In April, Amazon, the world's biggest online retailer, set in a filing that 4% of its outstanding stock, or 19.7 million shares, would be registered in Mackenzie Bezos' name after court approval of the divorce. Amazon.com Inc. founder Jeff Bezos divorce from his wife of 25 years. Mackenzie Bezos, was finalized by a Seattle-area judge on Friday, paving the way for her to receive $38.3 billion worth of Amazon stock, Bloomberg reported. In April, Amazon, the world's biggest online retailer, set in a filing that 4% of its outstanding stock or 19.7 million shares would be registered in Mackenzie Bezos' name after court approval of the divorce. The couple announced their plan to divorce in a joint Twitter statement in January, causing some to worry that Jeff Bezos could wind up with reduced Amazon voting power, or that he, or Mackenzie, would liquidate large position. He retains a 12% stake, worth $114.8 billion and remains the world's richest person, Bloomberg said. Mackenzie Bezos has said she would give him voting control of her shares. Mackenzie, in May, pledged to give half her fortune to charity to join the Giving Pledge, a campaign announced by billionaire Warren Buffett and Microsoft Corp co-founder Bill Gates in 2010. Nigeria bars interest payments on bank deposits above $5.5 million. Nigeria unveiled another set of measures, aimed at forcing lenders to extend more credit, in an effort to revive economic growth. This time cutting the amount of money companies can keep in interest-bearing accounts at the central bank. Banks will no longer receive interest payments on deposits exceeding 2 billion naira, $5.5 million, the central bank of Nigeria said in a statement posted on its website on Wednesday night. That compares with a previous limit set in 2014 of 7.5 billion naira, through the central bank's standing deposit facility. The move comes less than a week after the Abuja-based central bank ordered lenders, to use at least 60% of their deposits for loans by the end of September. Or have their cash reserve requirements increased, meaning they'll be forced to leave more of their cash with the central bank. Thank you for listening to the Bit Media Business News today. To keep updated with the latest business news, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thank you.